All right, guys, so we're here at Disney Mickey and Friends parking structure. And as you guys just saw, all the cars are excited. They were going crazy. We are here at a touch of Disney. We're just waiting to get in because the parking structure opens at 1130. So everyone's just waiting. And the actual event starts at 12 and it ends at 8. So we're going to see if we can kind of squeeze everything within the eight hours. We're going to try to cover as much food as we can and also figure out like how they're doing things. Like, do we have to pay through the mobile app? Do we get to just go up to the cart and order? How are the lines? The photo ops we're gonna show you guys some characters we're ready to show you guys the ultimate food experience here at a touch of disney if you guys are interested then just keep on watching so we just parked and the cars are social distancing <laughs> we get our own two space looks like it and there's a cone and someone guides you oh my gosh we're here it's like a breath of fresh air it feels so nice and the weather today is beautiful so once you guys get here and you guys park be aware that they don't have trams here, so you're gonna have to walk, which is completely fine. You know, it's not like we're gonna be walking all day. No. <laughs> One of the activities of coming here. Yeah, is you get a you, really good cardio. You get a really good walk in. <laughs> so we already got a mile in, you know, exercising before we eat. I think they let everyone 30 minutes earlier in, so it's 12 and there's no line, so that's pretty good. So we just entered the park and it's such a beautiful day. We got the guide here and the first stop, it's gonna be Smoke Jumpers Grill. They have the Monte Cristo and the S'more Shake. So we're gonna start our day with that. So let's go. You have to place a mobile order for Smoke Jumpers and you tell them that you placed your order and they're gonna let you in to go grab your food. So even though it says like from now to 12.45, which is like 30 minutes, you don't have to wait 30 minutes, so we'll see. Oh, we get discount Auto automatically applied. All right, so annual pass holders do get a discount. You can add a card through the mobile app and it says the Disney dining card. So it's pretty like easy. Our first food item of the day is the Monte Cristo. It is ham, turkey, Swiss, and a battered bread with powdered sugar and a blueberry puree. It looks really good. It's like the perfect like brunch item to start your day. It's like sweet, salty. It's like a donut sandwich. Mmm, mm-hmm. Oh my God, that's fire. It has the same batter as the corn dogs they use. It's nice, hot, warm, it's salty, it's sweet. And this blueberry puree is crazy. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. This is for sure must get a smoke jumpers grill. Surprisingly, the blueberry puree is like the best part. You guys need it. Mm. For dessert, you guys already know, we got the s'mores shake or milkshake or shake, whatever. <laughs> but it has a graham cracker toasted marshmallow with some whipped cream, some graham crackers on the rim. I think this is vanilla milkshake and then some chocolate fudge around the cup. Mm. Whoa. Surprisingly, it tastes a lot like a marshmallow milkshake. So overall, this really tastes like a marshmallow milkshake. I can't really taste much of the fudge. I would rate this a three out of five. I'm getting all the chocolate now that you like mixed it up. There's hella fudge in the bottom, so I was just sucking like in the middle. And if you want some graham crackers, you just lick the rim. Don't be lazy. It's like a martini. <laughs> it's not too sweet. It's yeah. like a very good chocolate fudge ice cream. It kind of tastes like the chocolate fudge from McDonald's. So if you don't like that, then don't get this. But if you like that, then get this. On the guideline, it shows all the lists of the marketplaces that's available here at A Touch of Disney. There's so many options that you guys can choose from. One really big tip though, if you guys kind of come in here, keep in mind on what items you guys want. So that when you guys come in line to the marketplace, you guys know exactly what to order so that all you have to do is just order from this one cart and then go to the venue and then just pick up your order from there. We gotta get the pizza egg rolls. Okay. First impressions, these things are kind of small. I know. Getting our first marketplace item is the pizza rolls. Mmm. Wow. What does that taste like? It tastes so like nostalgic. What are those pizza sticks you used to eat when we were kids? It's not spectacular, but it's decent. It's fun. It's pretty solid. I'll give it like a seven out of ten. Mm. Does that taste like something? Baby, it tastes like a hot pocket. <laughs> For me, I would rate this a 3 out of 5. If you are a pizza lover, I say come try it out. If not, then you guys can go ahead and skip this one.
We're in Cars Land for the first time in like a year. Literally a year. So we're about to meet one of my favorite Pixar Dude, characters. Dude, he literally watches Cars every <laughs> freaking week. I watch Cars all the time and I'm so excited to finally meet. I am ready to race. So we met Lightning McQueen. You guys already know we gotta meet hey, Lightning sure. McQueen's best friend. Hey, hey. It's Maiden! Ah! For the photo ops here at Disneyland, you guys have to take advantage of them because they are free. They are giving you guys free access to professional photos, so definitely take advantage of them. They don't usually do this, you usually have to pay, but it's gonna be free. So when you guys are here, take as much pictures as you guys can. Oh my gosh, damn, look at that view right here. Oh my <laughs> goodness. This view is amazing. I literally feel like I'm in Radiator Springs. I love Cars Land. It's seriously one of my favorite lands. Aaron, shout out to you, bro. Thank you so much for the Disney Mickey charms for my Crocs. <laughs> I had to bust them out today. <laughs> We're finally having a beer here at California Adventure. We always get the beer here at the Pacific Wharf. It's a hazy IPA. Cheers. Hmm. Nothing better than an overpriced Disney beer. <laughs> no, but it's pretty good though. It's really good. I just mobile ordered some barbacoa Asian street tacos. And the mobile order like system is so convenient. You get on the Disney app, pick out the vendor you want, and then your card's already loaded, your annual pass holder discounts are applied and you just go pick it up. So I'm gonna go pick it up. We got the Asian styled barbacoa street tacos. So this is a braised beef with pickled onions, ginger, cucumber, serrano peppers, and a corn tortilla. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Ooh, juicy. 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 Mmm. So the pickled onions, ginger, and all that stuff, it's very strong when you first take a bite but the savoriness of the meat really carries this whole dish. It's pretty good, it's a good, well-balanced dish. The barbacoa is really tender. Look at that clean bite that I just did. It's super flavorful, it's juicy. It's pretty good for it being like a little small taco. I give this a four out of five, and I recommend it if you guys are interested in trying it. We got the Bengal barbecue skewer. This is in the Asian sweet Zulu sauce. Nice chunks of beef. Mmm, nice. Big beef flavor. The Asian sauce, sweet sauce, isn't too sweet. And it tastes like a really good barbecue skewer. I give this 3.5 out of 5. We got the barbacoa, the taco. I'm gonna get a little bit of this beef. And we're gonna do a fusion taco. Because I feel like this beef would be really fire. A little pro tip. Combine the two, fire. And wash it down with the beer. style and this was from last year's food and wine festival it's a pork banh mi pork belly pickled carrots and daikon jalapenos and cucumber and cilantro that pork belly is so good crunchy fatty acidity 4.5 out of 5 so we just got back from Golden Dreams and we got the sweet and spicy chicken wings and it's served with this togoroshi, tog togoroshi aioli. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. Mm. It's served nice, hot and fresh, a little crispy. The glaze is really good. I don't really taste the spiciness to it. I taste more sweet, but it's not too sweet. Or the sauce. Oh hey, there's that spiciness. It comes from the aioli sauce. This is really good. Super tangy, sweet, savory. I give this a 4.5 out of 5. It's really good. It's one of my favorite items here so far. Definitely a must try when you guys come here. We got the carbonara mac and cheese. It's topped with bacon, parmesan, pepper, panko crumbs. So we're gonna give this a little mix. See how it goes. Mm, that white cheddar comes through, very rich. The bacon, very salty. The noodles is kind of starchy. Kind of weird to me, hold on. I don't like the texture of the noodles. I give it like a 2.5 out of 5. We 
went to cluck a doodle moo and we got ourselves a baby tender loin slider <laughs> it looks like it has pickled onions some chimichurri sauce a brioche miniature bun and this thick piece of meat and then also we got a very berry mule it has berry puree vodka ginger ale and lime yeah look cheers Mmm. Oh, so good. I know there's mobile order, but I would really advise you guys pre-ordering all your food at a cashier. There's two lines at every booth and the marketplace pickup at a mobile order. The marketplace pickup, there's no line and the mobile order is like hella long. And I heard people complaining that it took 40 minutes for a mobile order. So I don't know what's going on. I, I suggest it'd be very advantageous for you guys to go buy everything and then just pick it up at a separate line and mobile ordering it. So that's my opinion. That's what I saw today. Let's try this beef tenderloin slider with chimichurri sauce. It's so small. Well, it's tender. I think I would prefer this burger or slider if it was like a nice char on like a cast iron. It seems like it's baked. Like they put a bunch of them in an oven. But it's not bad. I'll give it like a three out of five. So I have the watermelon aqua fresca. So this is a watermelon puree and fresh lime juice. This is a non-alcoholic drink. It's so refreshing. I love it. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this. If you guys want some cold, refreshing, light, this is definitely the drink for you. Oh, I think I'm gonna get these. Just can't. Okay. Oh, that's nice. These. I like this one better. These. It's easier to wear. I know, this one's so cute too though. Oh, I don't know. This is my first pair of Mickey ears, so I'm very like picky on what I want. <laughs> oh, but it's not gonna be my last, so <laughs> I can just get whatever. I don't know, I kinda like this. You do? It's simple. How does it look? It looks great. It looks good? Yeah. Okay, cool. It goes your outfit. Does it? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I'm feeling brand new with my ears. <laughs> Taking a little food break. One of the things you can do at the Touch of Disney is you get free arcade games. And it's right here on the Pixar Pier. I'm about to win every game. No, you're not. Never. Oh, baseball toss? Oh, I was a quarterback, so I'm gonna throw it right in, the, right in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's me when Valerie feeds me pizza. <laughs> Even though you're playing, you don't get any prizes. You're only doing it for the experience. I won. So you won the first one, I won the second one. All right, walking down this side of Disneyland is a little different because Incredicoaster is not on, so it's a little quiet. It feels a little weird, but it's so nice to be back. It's not busy at all. With COVID going on, I actually prefer it this way. <laughs> I know it does suck for a lot of people that couldn't get tickets, but for the people that do get tickets, you'll have plenty of space. Yeah, it does not feel crowded at all. Yeah, it's so much space. And then, like, for us, we haven't had to wait more than, like, two minutes for any food item. Yeah. It's pretty quick. Yeah. We're here at Sonoma Terrace, and we got a grilled cheese with tomato soup. Always wanted to try this. It's, like, a very traditional dish. Mmm. Very classic. The bread's kind of stale. It doesn't seem as fresh. The soup's very good. It tastes like marinara. I wish there was a little bit of a cheese pool, but it's pretty solid. It has good flavor. I'll give it a three out of five. Now we're gonna try the pretzel. It's very warm. Got the cheese. It's, it's a pretzel, like, you can't really say much about it. It's not stale, it's pretty fresh. Cheese is really good. The only complaint I have is that it's a tiny bit salty, but it's pretty good. I give this, for it being a pretzel, 3.8 out of 5. So the last item that we got from the marketplace here at Disney is the very, very, very 
Mickey waffle. I'm really excited. So this has macerated berries, whipped cream, and syrup. So we're really excited to try it. I finally get to try like a Mickey waffle. I'm so excited. Got the macerated berry mix, the whipped cream, and some syrup. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh my god. So the first couple of bites, it tasted like a berries shortcake. It's really good. It's not too sweet. It tastes exactly like a waffle, like a breakfast waffle. It's really good. I highly recommend this. I give this a 4.5 out of 5. Hey, let me try to check it with uh, my phone. This. This. Like this. <laughs> Why? Why are you so serious? everything that we wanted to do for today. I hope that we covered as much questions, how the parking is, how the lines are, is it spacious, is it crowded, um, how is the food, I hope that we summed that up, but if you guys have any more questions, then go ahead and leave it down in the comments and we'll go ahead and answer them for you guys. All right guys, well that sums up today's video of Touch of Disney. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please share, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Peace.